Jenny. Genesis. Riley, tell her to get up. Tell her to get up out of the bed. Come on. Jenny. Good afternoon. It's Saturday. Uh, as I see myself in the camera, it looks like I'm going to go commit a crime, but I'm not. I'm just going to Trader Joe's, Target, and Ulta. Trader Joe's and Target, same old, same old as every Saturday. And then Ulta, I am out of foundation. And I suddenly had the feeling that I don't have the color of foundation written down. And I'm gonna hope that I remember when I get there. We'll see what happens. Um, but I'm on my way to do my regular errands. I need to return the sweater that I got, I think a week or so ago, this green sweater, and then get a couple of items. And Trader Joe's, I'm going to get some salads, like I always do, and some fruit. And that's pretty much it. Woke up and participated in the Bible study group with Megan and some other women. Took a Peloton class, a 30 minute class with Tunde, and then a 15 minute boss ride with Allie Love. And it was a very rough 15 minutes. I thought it was gonna be like a boss ride, like boss themed music. And it was, but it was also very challenging. So I did that in a 10 minute ab workout and started a load of laundry and here I am. So I don't have anything planned at all today, which is fantastic. I feel like this weekend is gonna be another like nice self-care weekend. Um, I don't have anything that I have to do today. Tomorrow I have a massage, a 90 minute massage at 4.15. And I am like stalking some packages, um, one of which is the Bible and the little book study that goes with the Breathe series that I purchased last weekend. I'm really hoping that that gets here today so that I can start all of that tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to just kind of individually um, taking the time to kind of find my path with church, God, faith, all of that. So both of the pack or those, the package is in a city very close by like I can literally just drive to this city and I'm tracking it and it says it's in transit in that city and I don't know if that means it's in transit there or it's there as of this morning which means I'm gonna get it today because yesterday it was like in a city very near LA like just outside of LA which is you know relatively close to me so we shall see um, if that package comes today and then I'm also I think I might get another package my Peloton order um, that's in Compton, which again, is not that far. So, um, I don't know. That's the most exciting part of my day is to see if those packages arrive. I think I got some footage when I was getting ready to leave and come downstairs of Genesis literally laying in the bed. Like her head was on a pillow. She had tucked herself in the blanket and was laying in her little doggy bed like a human person. I just want to live her life. So... I don't have anything to say in particular, just saying hello to start the day and start the vlog on the freeway and there's traffic in this one random area where there's always traffic for some unknown reason. Um, and so I'm gonna go run those errands and come home and shower and eat something and just lay about on the couch until I feel compelled to do anything besides that. So. Also, shameless plug, if you haven't checked it out, today I uploaded a video that I did for Teachers Pay Teachers that features their easel program or their easel platform. Um, I tried it out for the first time about a month or so ago and it is very user friendly and the video just kind of walks you through me trying it for the first time. So if you are virtual and even if you are rolling out a virtual like I am, it is a very useful tool if you find that you buy products on Teachers Pay Teachers frequently, um, but you need to be able to make the, um, the assignments like accessible to students in digital format then that platform is great for you. So that is up right now and live, so check it out if you haven't. But 
that's about it for right now. I'm go get these errands done. I'm a little concerned. I just came out of Ulta. They did not have the concealer that I need, and I really need this concealer. Like, I'm pretty much out. Um, it's the Too Faced Concealer in Butterscotch. Um, and I use it for, like, the like my eye area, and it also is what I use to help define my eyebrows. And I'm really scraping the bottom of the barrel to get that. So I'm going to check online and see about having it delivered. Um, but I got the other makeup that I needed, which is this MAC Compact. It's the same thing that I got a couple weeks ago, just in a different... Uh, oh my God, did I buy this already? <laughs> just in a different color? No, I didn't buy this already. Um, so if you're curious about my makeup, I use two different powders. One is for like the middle of my face, my eye area, and it's a slightly lighter than my complexion and it matches the concealer that I was just trying to get. And then the other one is more of an accurate match of my skin tone. Um, I use the MAC products for the powder as well as the regular foundation, but I use Too Faced for the concealer. At first it was like really jarring because it's pretty thick. Um, coverage but I actually like it and so now I'm annoyed that they didn't have it in there but I'm sure I can find it online and if not I don't know but while I was there I did find a larger version of the leave-in conditioner for pattern since I'm pretty much going to be sticking with this product I like it I'm satisfied with it I put on Instagram last night when I was doing my twist out I feel like once I even brushed my hair out to get it ready to wash like now I feel like I can see more defined curl and I think that's just with me being consistent with taking care of my hair and I have seen a lot not a lot <laughs> sometimes I just exaggerate I overuse the word a lot I have seen a couple of people comment on my videos and I've had a friend let me know that they have been able to find some of these products at like TJ Maxx I think is what it is and um <laughs> I'm going to keep my eyes out next time I go to TJ Maxx. I just don't really go there a lot. I guess I could go there looking for it, but I'm too lazy to go to look for something that may or may not be there. If that makes any sense. So I'm getting ready to go to Target. Um, the good news is the Old Navy and the Bath and Body Works in the shopping center is officially opened. And that's always nice and convenient. And then the other thing I want to share with you guys, because I'm just really enjoying it. Um, those of you that have a Peloton, or I guess it would work even if you had, if you were just using the app. I would imagine it still works. And you have a Spotify account or an iTunes account. If you like double tap a song that's playing during your workout, it automatically is added to a playlist for you. And I've been doing that a lot more lately. And it's just so nice. I've been listening to that playlist. And I just love the fact that it's all songs that I like, but it's such a variety of stuff. So, on this car ride, I have listened to Jill Scott, Alanis Morissette, some Rick Ross, <laughs> some Blue Cantrell from back in the day. So, if you're not making use of that feature, I would highly recommend that you do because I really do like it. So, now, getting ready to go to Target, which is just on the other side of this parking lot. And I think that's the last place I need to go. And then I'm probably going to pick up, like, a BLT for lunch or something. So... I am home. I am showered. I have put a second load of laundry in the washing machine. I've hung some clothes up to dry. Um, my luck continued to not be great when I went to Target. The toothpaste that I normally use was nowhere to be found. And it's just toothpaste, but at the same time, toothpaste is all up in your mouth and I'm very picky about the toothpaste. So I like Aquafresh whitening in the box is orange and like a silver color and it was not anywhere in Target. So I got a different brand of Aquafresh and I really hope that it's tolerable because there's two tubes of toothpaste in there. So that happened. Um, so I got all of that done and went and picked up a BLT. I'm getting ready to eat that right now. Here's a BLT. I asked for the mayo on the side because I like to very generously placed the mayo in my sandwich and then I'm eating one of my salads from Trader Joe's and you know that right there that one was free that one was free that's why I don't feel so bad so um update on the mail watch 
Now when I track the package, it just says it's in transit. It doesn't even show the city. So I'm hoping that means like it's like in transit to the house. Um, so wish me luck. I bought a couple of things to go along with it. Um, I bought some highlighters and some pens from Target. So I'm gonna try these out. I'm not 100% sure if I'll like these because I don't love a fine tip and these almost look like they're fine tip. I figure if I don't like them, I'll just return them. And then I got a set of midliners to keep here and a pencil pouch um, to keep all of the things that I plan to use for this beginning study together. And I'm just, I just love school supplies. So anytime I start something new or do something like that, I feel like, oh, I have to have some new school supplies to kind of be successful with it. So I didn't need another pouch. I'm sure if I had looked hard enough upstairs in my office, I would have found a pencil pouch that I could have used, but you know. So I'm getting ready to eat. I am getting ready to sit right here underneath my favorite blanket. And I'm getting ready to watch Good Girls, which has been on hiatus for a while. That's another show. I think I've mentioned it before. If you don't watch it, it's a great show. It's on Netflix seasons one and two. I think this is the third season. So I'm getting ready to watch that and maybe a couple other episodes of TV that I haven't seen this week. So, and I'm probably gonna take a nap after I eat. So I'm really looking forward to it. I love Saturday. It's about seven o'clock right now. Still no packages. <laughs> um, but it's, I mean, it's guaranteed to be delivered by tomorrow at nine o'clock. So a part of me is like, well, it's not quite nine o'clock yet. So maybe it'll still come today, even though it's not scheduled to come until tomorrow. I mean, it's, it's literally like just about down the street. So I just don't understand. Um, but the other news is that I was able to find the concealer. I ordered it online. I'm able to pick it up at an Ulta that's nearby. I don't even think I knew this Ulta existed in this area. So I'm going to pick that up tomorrow. So that crisis has been averted. Um, but I ate my lunch. I watched Good Girls and The Real Housewives of New Jersey. And then I took a nap and just kind of laid on the couch with Genesis for a little while. And now I'm getting ready to cook. And I've also put in some more laundry. I just put in another load. But I'm getting ready to cook this Calabrian, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, shrimp and orso with zucchini and Parmesan. This is a nice and quick one. It's 15 to 25 minutes. And here are all the ingredients that I need in that bag, the zucchini and then the shrimp. So I'm gonna cook that. And that's probably the last productive thing that I'll do. I might set up my planner for next week and kind of, um, regardless if I get the stuff in the mail today, just kind of plan out what I want these Sundays to look like. Like, what do I want to do first? Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I want to have like a clear plan on Sunday or, or a routine, I guess is what I'm trying to say, for Sundays when I wake up so that I'm consistent with it. So... I guess I'll take some footage of me cooking and then I'll probably close the vlog out when I finish because it's just been a Saturday that is uneventful, which is exactly what I wanted. So keep your fingers crossed. Who knows by the end of me cooking, maybe my package will arrive. Maybe I should stop talking about it. Like maybe I'm jinxing it because I'm talking about it so much, but I'm just going to cook and relax some more.
pasta is cooking for another two minutes. The zucchini and shrimp are cooking for about another two minutes. And after this, after they cook without stirring for two to three minutes, I'm gonna cook some more, stirring frequently for one to two minutes or until the shrimp are cooked through. And then to the pot of pasta, I'm gonna add the cooked shrimp and zucchini and some lemon juice. To add to this, I also bought some garlic knots from Target, I think, today. These here, these are really good. Um, so I just preheated the oven. It needs to be at 425. These take about four to five minutes to cook. So yeah, this one's quick and easy. Almost done. been done cooking for a while but I just finished taking the bread out of the oven I cooked the pasta finished that up went upstairs and edited it most of this vlog so that when I sit down to eat that's kind of taken care of but here is the finished product I have my little garlic knot right there those are the leftovers for tomorrow I've cleaned the kitchen the dishes are precariously stacked on top of each other because I was too lazy to empty the dishwasher no package, I'm letting that go. It's not coming until tomorrow. I think when I was looking at it earlier today, I think it means it was in transit to the city that is near me. And that's the story that I'm sticking with. So now the next hope is just that it comes earlier in the day. Uh, so that saga's over. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and close the vlog out here. I'm gonna eat watch something on TV, and then probably go upstairs and read. If you enjoyed today's vlog, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Not following me on Instagram, go over there and do that for me as well. And as always, I hope that you are well. And if you are not well, please be well. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.